It's your boy, Frosty. What's that word? What's that word? Well, ladies and gentlemen, look like the witnesses is coming forward in the Sean Diddy Combs case. You know, they saying that the grand jury met with a witness, you know, that turned over the flash drives that got footage and information about Diddy having relations and situations going on with the freak offs with eight different celebrities and basically two of the celebrities potentially three of them were minors and all of these people was blasted out of their mind incoherent and basically didn't know what was going on you know i'm gonna run the content and then we're gonna react to it afterwards before we do Make sure y'all hit that like button. And if you new here, do me a favor. Please subscribe. If you ready, I'm ready. Let's go. And those statements include descriptions of what the witness says he saw on those tapes. So I asked him about that. And he answered what he could, given the limitations imposed on him after testifying before the grand jury. Eight videos, eight celebrities, six men and two women. How many of those eight celebrities um, were were close to being underage or potentially two, underage? Two males. Two males. And of those eight celebrities, how many of them were intoxicated um, or under the influence of drugs? Uh, 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 this is going to be all speculation. I just want to preface it by he wouldn't know if appeared they to be. were. Right. Sure. Appear to Let be. Let me rephrase right. it. Based on, yes. Understand. Out of the eight celebrities, um, who were recorded having intimate relations with Sean Combs, how many of them appeared to be either inebriated or intoxicated or into the influence? All of them. of them. All of them. Out of those eight, how many appeared to be potentially victimized? How many might have been victimizing? I think um, all, to be honest, all. Were were victims, victims or were perpetrating? Victims. They were all eight were victimized. Yeah, meaning victim. this was happening to them and they were inebriated. Right. Not knowing, I guess, how much proof it was in it, whatever they was doing. And of those eight, how many seemed to be potentially minors? Two to three, possibly three. Two to three. Also on the flash drives, Courtney, um, was a what looked to be a manuscript written by, I, it appears to be a woman, who had taken Kim Porter's private journals and had written a book. Is that accurate? We don't know. I don't, I don't, we don't know. know how, yeah. I don't know how, um, who wrote it, put it together, but it was from her when I spoke to um, her. What you received on the flash drives, was it the completed book or was it notes from Kim Porter that later were made into a book? It was completed. It's only 60, okay. only, it's the, only about 54 pages. It was sure, and in the beginning it says, Kim made me promise that if something happened to her, I would make sure this book became public to the world. The way Sean moved, I knew that was a promise I would have to fulfill. Kim knew I was a woman of my word, and this book was going to make it to print. So it sounds like it is a woman who wrote um, up the notes from Kim Porter. Does that sound accurate? It's, it's, have you read it? Yes. I haven't even read the book. Do you know who the woman is? No. And, and to be clear, he received it in its complete form. So I think just to make sure we have some clarity here, yeah. the manuscript that Mr. Burgess received was already in its complete form. Um, it's not did, that he ate, uh, edited it or changed anything. Got it. Um, he did give it to someone Makes else who, who then edited it, but that's not how he received Our, it. Okay, so Ariel, did, um, did your client, Courtney, receive the book from the woman who seems to have written it, saying, I'm a woman of my word, and this book is gonna make it to print. I don't know if he received it from a man or a woman. He can answer that. I received it from a man. I tell you, some, somebody she was dating. Do you know if 
the notes from the book really were from Kim Porter. It was, yes, because I spoke to her um, probably like six hours before I got it, received it. You spoke so, to Kim Porter? Yes. So Kim Porter. Just saying hi. Uh, okay. Just saying hi, didn't Okay, Ariel, go ahead and give me clarity on the timeline. No, um, I'm trying to get uh, him Ariel. to uh, provide clarity of, uh, was there a conversation with no, her? No, I was or talking just... to the person, and he said, hold up, this is Courtney B. right here. Let me say something to him. He said, I know him. Put me on speaker. Then that's how we end up speaking. And then later, then somebody later. brought some, um, uh, somebody else came and brought you the, the manuscript. Right, right. Before I left. If I left ATL. To the best of your knowledge, uh, Courtney, do you believe that the manuscript is truly based on Kim Porter's diaries? Because there is a lot of dialogue in there. It is pages and pages of actual dialogue, which, I mean, I can't remember breakfast today, let alone dialogue from 5, 10, 15, and 20 years ago. I guess this is a woman's score. You understand? Know Maybe, you know, what she's been through is... You know, you, I'm not a woman, so I'm just going by how you, I got female friends and relatives. They always come to the house scoring because what went on in a relationship. And you can't, when you score, you can't forget it. Okay, we're going to leave it right there. As you can see, you know the information is out there. You know the flash drives do exist, apparently. You know, and these are talks of some of Kim Porter's associates, which you know was Diddy's longtime girlfriend and mother to a lot of his children, you know. Uh, everything is going on about this book and these transcripts, you know, a lot of people saying that the book is fake, the transcripts is fake, and the person who was taking Kim Porter's memoirs down, all of these is all allegedly fake, you know, but this witness is saying that this is true he has the flash drives, and apparently him and his attorney already met with the grand jury. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comments. Y'all think these transcripts and these flash drives and everything like that is real? Is this information he, this person got on these flash drives, is it real? Or what do y'all think? It's finna get heavy for Puff Daddy. Hey, y'all leave me some comments below. Let me know what y'all think about this. It's your boy Frosty. Until next time, finito.